Welcome back to the In Pencil YouTube channel, and I'm Adam. And I'm Jess, and what are we doing today, Adam? Well, it's been a long time since we uploaded a video, and a few weeks ago, the Fallout uh, trailer dropped for the TV show, and we haven't had a chance to actually talk about it yet. So, so we yeah. we do a reaction to it. No, yeah. so here it is. This is, I've never played a Fallout game, and Adam has played them all. Yeah, uh, nice yeah just, just a little bit of background. Yeah, just some background on on our history with Fallout. Uh, just has no history with Fallout. Um, I know it exists. Very have I'm very heavily invested in Fallout from a a, a lore perspective. Um, I, of course, I've played all the games. And I have a lot of experience with that. But also, aside from that, uh, I kind of nerd out about the lore a bit. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna react to uh yep. to the trailer here so okay. we'll get started so before let's we even get started let's take a look at this so right here yes. this frame here we're on the inside of the vault this is a hallway this is vault 33. yes uh, does that mean anything i know like vault 76 is fallout 76 right so um so there's if you if you go into the the fallout bible which was basically uh, a collection of comments from the original developers back between i think back around fallout 2 time frame they listed out some of the vaults and where they were located but fallout 3, 33 was not ever listed in the fallout bible so fallout 33 from a lore perspective is a brand new vault it has never been talked Ooh. about before and if you don't know anything about the vaults every vault has some sort of um like social experiment or um yeah basically social experiment that the the company that made the vaults and the government uh the company is called vault tech they kind of conspire to conduct these experiments on the residents of the vault so in this vault we don't know what the experiment is in vault 33 or if, if there is an experiment some vaults are basically like sterile just sort of control vaults where they're just meant to be set up and just run normally. Other vaults have different experiments and there's a whole list of them in the Fallout Bible. And then if you go give us book, one, give us one, like the weirdest or just one so weird one so we get an idea. Vault 68 and 69 never appeared in any games, but Vault 68 in the Fallout Bible was meant to be, I think it's supposed to be 999 men and one woman. And Vault 69 was supposed to be 999 women and one man, one man, excuse me. So what's the experiment there? Well, what happens if you put a thousand people together and one of them is, has, one of them is of a particular gender, you know? Yeah, so, so the reproduction. But, yeah, from a reproduction standpoint or from just all sort of twisted things that can happen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about the survival of the species and you're like, well, there's a lot of other things that's going to happen besides the survival of the species here. Yeah, but Not Vault 33, that. we don't know what the experiment is. We do we do know the location of Vault 33 because um, all, all of the, the lower numbered vaults, like roughly like 50 and below, are all on the West Coast and all the higher number of vaults are on the East Coast. So, and we know from the trailer, that well let's watch the trailer <laughs> let's just say we know that this is in los angeles in the west coast so, <gasps> spoilers yeah. no spoilers no the vault right. oh, you're you're we can see the cursor there let me uh turn it right there all right uh, so uh, right here she is what, what are you gonna say she said, I've lived a relatively comfortable life, which makes me think the vault experiment has been probably not too wild. Yeah, not too harsh. Uh, there are, oh, there are no men in that vault. So. No, there are men in this vault. Uh, her brother oh. her brother is back here. It's her brother is one of the characters. Uh, she's back here. We know that right now she's leaving the vault. She's not under very much duress. She did have some resistance leaving because this guy back here is knocked out on the bottom and right. she's got cut on her lip and she's got a bit of a fat lip right here so we know that she was in some of her altercation before leaving but we don't know what the altercation was um but the two behind her who opened the door for her uh are relatively calm but they she's pretty much trying to get out and they're closing the door behind her 
She sees the outside. All right, so she's walking out into the wasteland, and over here on the bottom right, you can see there's a lot of skulls and skeletons. So in the lore, um, with a lot of the vaults, like if you look outside of Vault 101 in the Capital Wasteland, there's always skeletons of people who, who were caught up in the, the nuclear blast or, or the aftermath of it, who are trying to get into the vault and wind up dying outside the vault. So there's generally, most vaults have skeletons outside of people who are trying to get in. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing about this frame that you can see is that the shape of the door is in the shape of the vault Tech logo, which is the same shape that Vault 76 in Appalachia is in that 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 the entranceway is in the shape of the vault tech logo so this is the second vault to appear to have this particular sort of aesthetic mm, um interesting a lot of vault doors they'll they'll they're they're embedded in caves or underground areas not many of them are exposed to the open air but this one is exposed to the open air so yes. and that's probably because of uh uh just it looks better oh yeah Let's... definitely yeah, yeah it's definitely an aesthetic choice I uh the Westworld series did started off well and I hear it kind of went downhill at the end. So Yeah. I've heard mixed reviews about Jonathan Nolan, so we'll see. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right. This is uh what is it, Santa Monica Pier, right? Kind of looks like yeah. Los Angeles with uh is this, what are these things called Ferris wheels? Yeah, we can swim out past the ocean. Leave yeah. the world behind. Swim out past the. I screwed this lyrics up. <laughs> and watch the world die, which apparently was Everclear talking about Fallout. Right, that's exactly what Everclear was talking about. Yeah, yeah. All right. So again, this is supposed to be Santa Monica, Los Angeles, which in Fallout lore was supposed to be um, a, an upbuilt uh, sort of settlement. Um, so we'll go ahead. Colors are an endangered species. That is a huge bug. That is a rad roach. It's our first glimpse of a rad roach. What is a rad roach? Obviously. A rad roach is an irradiated roach that's become massively overgrown. They appear in pretty much all of the Fallout games. Oh, nice. They, nothing rad about them. Look, a tumbleweed. And she has never seen a tumbleweed she before. She's terrified she? of a tumbleweed. Again, <laughs> She was probably born in the vault, never has even left. She has no idea what she's walking out into. Yeah. I, I, I guess that there are giant roaches, a tumbleweed would seem like, okay, what is this? It has a billion legs. <laughs> well, she probably hasn't seen the giant roach yet. So. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> Todd Howard. <laughs> Not the Todd Howard. The Todd Howard. Sand. All right. This is supposed to be a shipwreck on the sand. Again, Los Angeles is supposed to be an upbuilt city. It's not supposed to be a desolate wasteland. But here we see in the well, background there's ocean, so we're definitely on a beach. So yeah. Here's the thing. So we can talk real quick about why the guy from Lost is in this show. But before <laughs> that, <laughs> perfect guy. Something I heard um, is that. It's easier to do post apocalyptic in wastelands than it is in like full built up cities because it's a cheaper set design. Oh, definitely. So yeah. I wonder if that's part of it is like they, they just changed it to it's not the city, it's the wasteland because it's going to be cheaper. Now, let's talk about Michael Emerson. I think that's who that is. What do you want to say about him? Is that who that is? I don't know. I, he, I mean, is it? I, I'm not sure. It looks like the dude from Lost. Is that the dude from Lost? Um, I do not know. Ben Linus, I think is his name in Lost. I never watched Lost, so I don't know. It, wait, hold on. I gotta, I gotta remember what his name is. Uh, <laughs> I have to look it up, so we'll, we'll let's keep talking. Okay, all right. We're going to watch the video. Yes. All right, there's our first glimpse of the dog, which is presumably dog meat, and he's chomping down on a rad roach. Good old dog meat. <laughs> yeah. I never and saw the, the studio boys. behind the boys. And I love that. I love this joke. Free two-day shipping. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Is that supposed to be like a reference to Amazon? 
It's a reference to Amazon. <laughs> it's the, it's so that's dumb, dumb. But I love it. Uh, it is yes. So, uh, Michael Emerson, who played Ben Linus in um, Lost, is playing Will Will Zig. So that's this guy. Him. Yep, that's Michael Emerson. Okay, and he looks just like he looks a lot of uh, kind of as he does in lost so i feel like they're doing the lost fives which is lost has its own set of lore and it just is where he's out there so it kind of works to have him in there so let's go back to free two-day shipping why is there an asterisk by it because it's not free because you have to have amazon prime to get it yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) yeah well even now amazon prime is starting to charge for like next day delivery like 299 or something like that so well that's right. why it's two day shipping. So this shot we have it's a snowy environment now. And we have vertebrates for the Brotherhood of Steel. They got the Brotherhood logo on the side. So these are vertebrates. These are basically can you, can you guess what a vertebrate is? I'm gonna guess it's a it's it's a vertical bird. Yes, it's like, a two it's a it's like what are they called? What are the uh the Chinooks? Is that what they're called? Basically, yeah, Chinooks, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're helicopters, yeah. But the yeah. wings do the wings do kind of fold in on them whenever they're being stored. So, oh yeah. See that? that does, See the wings rotate like that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. That does not look like a snowy environment to me. Are you sure that's snow right. and not sand? This guy is our next protagonist. Uh, oh. I can't remember his name, but they'll, I'm sure they'll say it in a second. So they call him. In this, they call him a scribe. I'm sorry, not a scribe. A uh, wait, what do they call him again? It's a good look at the power armor. Dog oh, has got a hand. <laughs> got to hand it to dog meat. <laughs> dog has got a. I mean, I don't know if his name is dog meat, but yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, everybody's gonna call him dog meat, right? Because that's basically. the that's the that's the famous dog of Fallout. Well, ever that's the dog everybody knows. Every Fallout has not every Fallout. Most Fallouts have a dog meat, but it's not the same dog every time. Oh, that's 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 cool. They all have the same name, a name that nobody has ever given a dog before Fallout. Wait, wait, wait. I want to go back to this. In this shot, so they got the power armor, Brotherhood of Steel power armor, and they got there's there's a little like sensor thing that falls over the eye in the games. And in the power in, in the games, that scissor thing is never pulled down over the eye. So this is pulled down over the eye now. So I'm not sure what that is supposed to be indicating or why they did that in that choice. Ooh. Just so people like you will make a decision, question it. Yeah. So we'll go back to that frame. So here we have an old time jukebox with a nice record player in there. And it's got blood splattered all over it. Fresh this blood. Shot, what's that? Fresh blood. I think it just splattered in the shot, didn't it? Yeah, it, just, it splattered on the... We'll watch that again. Dog meat. Brotherhood is still? Yeah, it splattered on the... Splattering dogs. blood. And then back here you got a silo. This is all... This, this shot is within the vault, which we'll see in just yep. a second. So right here, there's some turmoil going on in the vault, and this is the background of that shot. So that jukebox is somewhere over here. Yeah. So this is probably happening before. Well, she this leaves, this might right? be a different vault because, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is vault thirty three. So three. This is the same it's vault. Same. Yeah, I bet this yeah. happens before she leaves. And then she's walking into this settlement, which looks a lot like Megaton from Fallout 3. Let's um, just, what's that? Let's just talk about this shot is a perfectly like frame shot to give you this 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 is a very common shot of like the circle and walking through the circle, which has happened twice in this trailer where she's walked through a circle. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an so establishing like shot. Yeah, it's like she's walking into out of another vault. She's not, but she's walking out, out into another world. It gives yeah. that idea of you're walking from the, the cave, Plato's cave, into the actual world. That's we got good, philosophical opinion. Yeah, that's a good analogy. Um, so in the background of this, there's also the skyline for Los Angeles, um, which tells me this this settlement is outside of Los Angeles, which 
we don't know what to derive from that just yet. So this is there he is. This is the ghoul. His name is just the ghoul. Uh, he's a lot less ghoulified than he would be in the games, but this is yeah. the ghoul. He's our third protagonist. Uh, he's an he's, antagonist. He's not a protagonist, right? I don't know if he's an antagonist or a protagonist. We can watch the trailer. I thought he was like, it says he's a gunslinger, so I wonder. I think he's a protagonist. But he's got a lever action rifle on his, uh, over his back. So, no, I guess we'll find out. And uh, he, it feels like it's, it calls him a gunslinger, which makes me really brings me back to the, the Dark Tower Stephen King gunslinger uh, vibes. Huh. I don't think he's an antagonist. I think he's a protagonist. Oh, I cool. think because I, I think it's following the three of them. I think it's following the, the, um, the Brotherhood oh. kid, the, the vault girl, and the, the ghoul here. Maximus is the brotherhood kid, I think. And he's shooting up the town. You got Cyclops over here, which doesn't make any sense lore wise. They're going to have to do a lot of explaining for Cyclops here because I'm not really sure what his deal is. Well, he I has like, one eye. He does. Well, obviously, but I don't know why. I do like the fact that this turret has a sign on it that says, please remain calm. <laughs> Yes, please remain calm. We will be eliminating the issue shortly. It's uh, it's from the studio that gave you free two day shipping. Please remain calm. Yeah. So the turret is shooting at your guy from Lost here with his dog. Meat. Dog meat. Yeah. Oh, this look is. At this. Yeah, this is Mister Handy uh, pushing somebody on a stretcher with uh they i don't think they're in i'm not sure where they are but they're in some sort of like dairy factory i think and this the has very uh very uh um that dairy factory has very 80s vibes i mean 50s vibes well yeah the whole the whole theme of fallout is like future retro future uh retro futuristic yeah fallout, um 50s stuff so and now someone to bring us to a different now we'll go to the next scene and if you pause here we, we you can actually look on wikipedia and figure out who this person is oh that's her dad uh, yeah. yeah yeah that's her dad that's kyle mclaughlin who you may be like why does that face look familiar and it should because he's the main character from twin peaks so you got lost in twin peaks is that right what it there is? okay yeah he's from he's the he's the uh, agent in twin peaks oh okay so yeah, I, I think he's he's the reason why she left the vault. So I think she was looking for she went out looking for him. And he's got life. something in his ear, but you really it's hard to tell. Does he? Yeah, look at his ear. I can't oh. tell. Yeah, there's something in there, it looks like. And that's there's the a, Brotherhood of Steel guy. Yeah. Um, Maximus, I think, is his yep. name. Yeah, that's his name. Yeah. But I'm on the Wikipedia. Him, they name him incorrectly. They name him as a squire. Uh, but squires are supposed to like if you look at uh, the lore of Fallout Four, squires are normally like kids who are non-combatant observers who are learning how to be Brotherhood oh. members. I think this guy's supposed to be an initiate or a, or a eh. scribe, but they call him a squire. I don't know why. And there is a disturbing-looking oh, bear. This is the uh, Yao Guai. They call him a Yao Guai. Uh, and he's chomping down on a brotherhood guy over here. That's yeah, great. Oh, this thing. That's kind of creepy, right? Yep. And they yeah. really want you to get a close up of all the fingers. <laughs> all right, That's so back in the vault, isn't it? Yeah, this is in the vault. Probably that same incident we took looked at earlier. She got a fork in her eye. And this gun hasn't appeared in a Fallout since Fallout 2. So they went. Pretty far. No, no, was it Fallout yeah. Two or Fallout Tactics? Maybe Fallout Tactics, and then pulled this gun out of that game. And there's a flying ship. That is, I forget what the name of this ship is supposed to be. Maybe you can look it up on Wikipedia real quick. But basically, it's the Pred One of the West Coast. So the Pred One appeared in Fallout Four, and this is the uh, the West Coast version of that. I guess they. Some, this is supposed to take ten, ten years, take place ten years after the events of Fallout Four. So, 
I imagine at some point there was some communication for how to build this thing and they were able to build it. And mm -hmm. all of these kids in the front are presumably Brothers of Steel recruits, I assume, or trainees of some sort. Are they the Steelers? This is the, the ghoul pre-war. Yeah, before. you can see the the smoke coming up, right? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Before he was the ghoul. Yep. His, his daughter, I guess. They always have a daughter. Yeah. Last of Us, Fallout, right? Yeah. They always have a daughter who gets killed. Oops, spoilers, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> And the bombs. So bombs drop in Los Angeles. And then and the, oh, the logo. April 12th. New series. April 12th. So, yep. We will. We need to react to each of the episodes when they come out because I do have Amazon Prime. I can watch this series. I couldn't watch The Last of Us because I didn't have HBO Max. But I do have Amazon, so we can watch this and react to it. Yeah. So, I mean, so I think yeah. for the most part, I'm excited about it. The only things I, I, I'm not convinced about, about Cyclops guy over here. I think this He's is in a, a vault. I think this is a, a different vault. I don't think this is Vault 33. I think this is probably in, Vault 32, I want to say. But you can look at all the eye imagery in just this picture like there's the dot on his uh there's the dot on his clothes yeah and then there's the dot to to the uh left of his arm and then on that like mug and then in the front there's a mug well these are eyes these are the vault tech logo that's the logo for the company that built the vaults oh that's the vault tech logo and yeah. he's maybe he's the experiment is just have a cyclops dude is the person who yeah, maybe there was some like weird vision experiment in this vault or something, some sort of mutation. Yeah. Maybe it has to do with FEV. FEV is uh, the forced evolutionary virus, which has a lot of lore in all the different games that yeah, they use that to justify all kinds of different mutations from super mutants to yeah. like weird abominations and everything. So, well, you got to have something cool. You just can't fight guys. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's going to be a boring series well, if all you're doing is fighting guys in post And I'm pretty sure that our, our monster guy over here, this uh, amphibious looking thing, I don't know what the hell this thing's called. I'm pretty sure he's probably a byproduct of FEV it, too, because these are it, human fingers. Uh, it looks like the Seymour. Is it Seymour? No, not Seymour. What is the name of the character on Little Shop of Horse? I have no idea. Um, Seymour is the main character. Yeah. What is the What is the name of the creature? Ah, the the I forgot. Anyway, it looks like the the guy, the 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 uh flower from Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. So the other thing about this trailer is that it's showing a variety of different like so like this this clip here is a very forested area whereas before we saw a desert, remember? So there's snow, there's desert, there's heavily forested areas. So I think we're going to go through a lot of different places in California. Maybe this is in Northern, Northern California, perhaps. Uh, it has a very Northern California vibe, quote unquote. Yeah. Like this guy's out in, in this town, this Megaton-like town, and a vault going on. These guys are in the snow. So yeah, I'm wondering... But the thing you don't see in any of this is uh, any mention of the NCR, which lore-wise, they should be the ones that are sort of um, present in Los Angeles at this point in time, not the Brotherhood of Steel. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of the information that's available on this is in like a Vanity Fair article as well. Um, that uh, yes. To go along with this but we're not gonna really worry about reading yeah. that so uh hope you watch in april we'll we'll try to watch and react to it when it comes out um i heard yeah. there are eight episodes in the first season is that right this, that's what i heard that's what i read okay. i thought so okay. which makes sense eight is a eight is a good amount for these type of shows i guess yeah All um right. i no. think we're so up. yeah so uh if you if you need some more details on Amazon, 
uh, how to get Prime, just go right here to Amazon.com slash Amazon Prime. <laughs> and we, wow. we, we put this advertisement at the end because not because they're paying us because they're not. It's not really an advertisement. It's just so that they won't take down our video. Oh, it's a good, <laughs> good call. More, more importantly than that, you can check out uh, In Pencil Podcast and other YouTube stuff. So. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll see you next time when uh, another trailer for something uh, interesting comes up. Yep. All right. In the meantime, okay. I've been Adam. I'm a Jess. Have fun.